Hi and welcome to Lady Trady. Today on Lady Trady we are going to be installing a pet door. So now that I have a pet, I need to have a door so that I don't have to keep getting up and down all the time to let her in and out. So I headed off to Bunnings today to look for a dog door and ended up purchasing this. So yes, it has a picture of a cat on the front. My little puppy is not going to exceed four kilograms in weight. A cat door is actually ideal for her, so I'm not having a bigger space than necessary cut into my screen. Um, also, cats are a little bit more lightweight and not as robust as some dogs, so I figure my delicate little papa can use a cat door more easily. But the real selling point for me was the fact that cat doors are about half the price of dog doors. So for the exact same product, but with a picture of a dog on the front, it was double the price. This is the equipment that I'll be using today. So I, obviously I need the dog door. I need a drill with some drill bits, a screwdriver, Stanley knife, a regular butter knife, some scissors, measuring tape, and a saw. Now, the Lady Trader is all about using equipment that you have on hand. So let's face it, we don't all have a tool shed that's got an extensive list of tools inside of it. I don't, I have quite a lot, but I don't have everything possible. Um, this would be a much easier project if you had either bolt cutters or a jigsaw, whether hand jigsaw or electric, it doesn't matter. I don't have those things, so I'm going to show you how to do it with the tools that we actually do have. The first thing that you need to do is use a blunt knife to remove the rubber that's holding the screen in place and peel that back and tuck it up out of the way so that you can install the door. Then you need to cut out the template. So in a screen door, you don't need that outer edge. You just need the internal cutting size. So mark that with some chalk or a permanent marker. I am removing the blade from my hacksaw because obviously with the, the rest of the saw attached, it's too wide to fit through in between the frame and then use that to saw through the metal frame. Now this does take some time, um, bear with it. You will get there eventually. Keep it as straight and level as possible and you will saw through most successfully. Now, if you have bolt cutters or a grinder or some kind of electric saw, obviously this will speed up the process significantly. Now, once you've removed the frame that's in the section of the door that you want to install the um, pet door, you pull the pet door apart and use the outer side. Now, pop that in in place and close the glass door to make sure that it is not too wide in width. So if it's too wide and you can't get your glass door closed or it's gonna be um, inconvenient, you need to remove that, saw it down to the correct width and then pop it back in again. Clip the front panel on and then you are ready to screw it into place. Use about a three mil drill bit to drill in some pilot holes and then you can screw the screws in using a screwdriver. However, don't do them up tight yet because we need to fit the screen back on first. Now gently place the screen back down into place. You're not locking it into place yet you're just holding it down and use your piece of chalk to mark around the pet door where you want to cut it with your Stanley knife now as you can see I haven't cut it on the external edge of the dog door rather halfway between the internal and external edges of that door that way I have a little bit of screen mesh to tuck in and screw into place with the pet door um, so nothing can get inside. Yeah. 
once that screen is tucked into the front and back of the pet door, you can screw it tightly into place. The final thing that we need to do is just use a blunt knife to push the rubber back into place. It will hold the screen into place. So you lay the screen down and then push that rubber over the top of that and into that gap that every door has around it for this purpose. Take your time, pull it tight so there's no bumps um, or waves in it because then you find, you'll find you'll get to the bottom and will run out of the rubber. So make sure you're pushing it in effectively the entire way around. When you get to the bottom of the pet door, you will need to cut it and then fold it around the corner there and then place it back in on the other side of the pet door as well. The strip that you have cut out can be used around the pet door itself to more securely hold the screen in between the two pieces of the pet door. Or additionally, you could purchase a little bit more to go the entire way around that pet door. It's totally up to you. I guess that depends on how well your screen has been fit in between the front and the back. And there you have it, one pet door ready to go.